What's up, guys? Ladies and man, 135 Heated Barrels. I'm here with Clayton again, and he knows absolutely nothing about redstone, so who's going to try to learn something today? I'm not going to learn anything. Oh, uh, well, we'll try. This is maybe too complicated to start, but do our uh, best. Well, we'll see. All right, so I got a couple of requests to uh, show how the redstone worked on the Monopoly map. Um, it's easy. All right. <laughs> A quick little glimpse at it, I'm sure it makes no sense, but uh, we'll break it down. So, first of all, what happens, uh, you're going to turn on this lever, and oh, it looks super glitchy, but what happens is that this just cycles through all of the glass and the uh, piece of wool. The randomizer. The randomizer. Uh, for those of you that don't know, redstone does not travel through glass. Um... So that's why there's glass there. And then whenever there's a wool block, um, when I would flip the other lever that's out there, which I'll go to in a second, it would send a redstone charge to all these repeaters, and then wherever the wool is is the only piece, or the only redstone, it's the only spot where the redstone would actually go through because redstone does not go through glass. So that'll push out... The piece is that you need to know it's the number. Exactly, if that makes sense. Um, the same thing over here. I'm just going to shut this off, though, to reduce lag issues. So let's just hit that. There we go. All right. Show. Um, basically, like I said, all that is just a randomizer. Um, that's activated with this right here. What happens when I, is when I flip the lever, um, a redstone charge goes through the block. And then uh, powers this side, powering the piston, which pushes the block forward, cutting off the charge going through this block. So it basically just a repeating cycle, I guess you could say. Epic. Epic, yes. Um, and that leads into this whole contraption right here that with all the timings and whatnot. Um, honestly, there's no specific way to do the timing. You just got to work with it until it works. Um... I've built like four different randomizers on this map, and they have all been different timing, so I don't know what to tell you on that one. Figure um, it out. <laughs> yeah. We did. Yeah. Or he did. I did. So. I did not do anything. Okay. So, um, I'm going to flip this lever, and what that does is causes a massive lag spike. <laughs> all right. No, what it really does is. Um, well, it's the doohickey attached to the whatchamacallit. Right? Something like that. Sounds about right. So this line right here was the one that we originally flipped on to charge the uh, charge the randomizer, which also pushes this piston forward, and then um, this block is getting powered by this repeater, which is the redstone line coming from that redstone switch I just flipped. Then, if you guys are still even following along on this... <laughs> I hope you are. <laughs> it goes through all of these blocks and wraps around here. The only reason why it's so big is just to reduce lag. You really could just easily just hook this right up to this right here. And all this is is repeaters being all charged. So all that lever did was just send a charge to these repeaters. That's all it did. Um, and then it also uh, pushed out this piston, which blocks off the pulsar right here, going to go up to this so that they do not move or cycle or do anything. So that's what the purpose of that. This is very important. If this is not here, this will not work. So be sure to do that. Do not forget. Do not forget. So uh, something else about the randomizer I forgot to get, I forgot to mention, I mean, is to put um, this obsidian here in all the corners because... Does uh, obsidian not move? Obsidian does not get moved by pistons. Ooh. So, learning uh, something. Learning something. So, that's something that's very important. Otherwise, glass will wind up where the obsidian is and it screws up everything. So, you don't want that to happen. So, in this case, when I flipped the lever, the wool block was right here. And you can see that the redstone is going through this wool block. Um, but not through any of the glass because, like I said, glass does not carry redstone through it. And when this first one gets charged, it all it does is just. Go up to the first set of pistons. Actually, let me go out there just to show you. Goes up to the first or the middle set of pistons, which means one. So you got a one. In this case, I got a one. 
Um, if it were to power this one, this is where the redstone gets kind of complicated, and I don't really want to explain it because... Pretty really much, I think what you're trying to say is it powers that, which splits off into a bunch of them, which sends yes. out all the pistons. Basically. Doing a lot of hand movements. Yes. <laughs> so you guys can't see them. <laughs> you guys can't see them. But, uh, you know, there's no real way to do this either. It's kind of just making it all work. Um, yeah, I really don't know how to explain this part. You just got to make sure that each, this one, like, this one will connect up to one, this one will connect up to two, three, and then so on, and you just got to make it work. There's too much redstone, and that's just everywhere to actually explain it. So... Figure it out. Good luck. <laughs> I mean, if you guys want me to go into this, I guess just let me know, and I'll do my best. Maybe change some Build of the wall like around. a separate piece. Yeah, separate video. Change some of the wall around so it makes more sense. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the way that thing works. Uh, I guess I'll we'll just unflip that one. And then when I unflipped that one, what happened was it uh, retracted this piston and turned off these repeaters and then it started the cycle again. So that's how the dice work. Uh, feel free to leave any comments if you guys don't understand. And now we're going to move over or move on to the, what is this called? The card randomizer. The card randomizer. Same exact concept except compacted much, much more. Because it's a lot simpler. It's a lot much more. A lot, a lot much more. A lot much more <laughs> simpler. So let's just destroy this. That block was pissing me off. Um, it's the same idea as the uh, dice with the randomizer. It's just a little bit longer. And like I said, much more compact. So what happens is right now the whole thing is off. When I flip this lever, uh, that turns on. And let's just get down here. Uh, same piston setup as I had before. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I don't even care. Same piston setup as before, uh, just a pulser, and then that just sends up all through there. I can't get to that though because too tight. So we'll go around too back. Too compact. Too, too compact. compact. This is actually not even working. Why? Because that thing you destroyed. Oh yeah. Just explain it. Okay, I forgot about that. Let's see if I can fix that real quick. Uh oh. It's like right there. Yeah, there you go. Aha. Aha. Okay. See how simple it is, guys. There we go. So, same thing as before, like I said, it's just 10 things, 10 repeaters long, um, and the way it works, same idea, when you flip the other lever, redstone goes through all of these, and well, only one block gets pushed through, or only one redstone charge gets pushed through because of where the wool block is, and then over here is where the piston is that cuts off the pulser. So, if we just flip this. Oh, what'd you get? Uh, move piece near utility. Oh, oh. oh, so that lever, like I said, push this piston so it's cutting off the pulser. Uh, I got that. I can't get to. Um, Your randomizer's all screwed up again. No, let's. I have that happen. That's fine. Oh, it won't move oh, anything. Right. So duh, duh. <laughs> um, so the way this worked right here, I guess we could just mine this really quick. Oh, the signs. Uh, who cared about the signs? I care. So this is the piston. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, the red the lever over there um, flips all of this on, and wherever the wool block is, the only one that goes through. And then we got a repeater on the other side of the wool block, the other side of the yeah, wall, yeah. and that powers this piston, which just pushes up the block. This is so much more compact because it only has to push up one piston right in front of it, rather than a however mess. Yeah, a whole stuff. Yeah. Push up multiple pistons to send out blocks to look like it rolled dice. Exactly. Much more crazy. Um, I also have this set up so uh, if I flip this lever and that system is not on, it won't work, which is simply done by just making a redstone charge come over here by a piston, and when the redstone charge pushes the piston out, goes in front of this block right here, and then when you flip the lever out here, like, look, if I flip this, it won't go through because it can't go through the block. But, if I flip that lever over there, it will push the piston out, and then the charge can go through the block, and turning on all those repeaters. Um, very simple. <laughs> very simple. And the other card is the same? Yeah, same exact thing, no difference. I'm not even going to go into that, because it's literally the same exact thing. It just looks different, because I thought I could disguise the chest with it, but it didn't work. And we just decided to keep it, so. Yeah. Whatever. Um, 
hope this guy, I hope this made sense to any of you. Um, I tried to explain it. If you want me to do a more in-depth tutorial where I maybe actually rebuild it, um, I will. Um, just let me know. Uh, please do subscribe. This was a very big map to work on. Me and Clayton over here, only two people that built it. And yep, a great feat. Great feat. Great feat of awesome. Feat of awesome. Anyways, yeah, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace! This is 50 caliber round.